What? Lulu, I need your help. So glad I have Lulu along today to help. Look at those sleeping bags. Good morning, frugal friends. I am Julie, and we are heading out there to see if there's anything to save and or salvage in the public school dumpsters. If you have not yet subscribed, we are dumpster diving every Sunday and then filling the rest of the week with other dumpster diving and frugal living, upcycling, recycling related content. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget that bell notification. You don't want to miss what we've got coming up next. Boy, this smells bad. <clears throat> Lots of illegal dumping, old car parts, uh, chair, boxes. Oh, the smell is horrible. Chemicals and stuff like that. And nothing. I think we'll take that. Try selling it in the yard sale, and if that doesn't work, then we can use it out in the Wonderland as weed suppression. I know, kind of a tacky thing, but it works for us. This is all grass clippings, a broken cooler, some boards. over here on the ground and it looks sparkly oh <laughs> okay that's adorable we'll take it Mimi will be excited that's super duper cute <laughs> I'm gonna keep all my dirty thoughts to myself about that one Legal dumping, obviously. It is looking like the schools are about wrapped up as far as what they have been cleaning out. Not seeing anything else so far that school stuff, just a little bit of illegal dumping here and there. we have looks like a little garbage can and then a big potter plant um, some more illegal dumping what Lulu I need your help so glad I have Lulu along today to help look at those sleeping bags and then a camp pillow that bag eh, take or leave but Look at those sleeping bags. Those are fantastic. Ironing board. We don't need an ironing board. We're going to need the um, rake and the step ladder. We might take that, that one as well, that sleeping bag. Obviously, we will wash all of them. They've got nice strappy things. They're like the clipping kind. Oh, that's fantastic. All right, we got to get our tools and get these out of here. And we are going camping soon. So we will definitely be giving all this stuff a try. Teton camp pillow. We can do this without tearing anything. One more if you want to put that one away. We will unroll these, open them up and show you and see if there's any problems. And like I said, we will obviously definitely wash them. Hello. Pretty rough shape. We'll put it in the yard sale. Oh, a suitcase! This is why we 
we don't buy suitcases. We find plenty of them in the bins. One thing at a time, Julie, one thing at a time. goes to that other suitcase. And probably this one also. Okay. It's dirty, but it'll clean up. That's no big deal. Hello, while I'm doing this, will you open that lid, please? Like with the rake. Oh, it's even got another one inside. I thought it was heavy. Look at that. Oh, that's fantastic. I am so going to use that one as my, like, carry-on. That will be my official carry-on from here on out. This one, it's too big to be a carry-on. But that one there, and I generally only take a carry-on because most airlines charge you extra now to have like a real sized suitcase so we pack light and tight and that that is perfect can you believe what great condition they're in i can't let's see empty even still has the little gel pack thingies in there that's crazy so to me those suitcases make today totally worth it. Even if we found nothing else, those would make it worth it. Some pillows, we'll wash them, see if they clean up. If not, just getting them clean, then I have um, some cute pillow shams covers that we found in a different bin. Empty. Oh, cute! Okay, maybe this is silly, but it's, yeah, a cute little tiny garbage can. can go in the yard sale probably and then this big huge planter we will take it and then this is awesome it is a bag of snow and ice melt which hello even though it's super hot this well actually I guess it's supposed to cool down but even though it's been super hot and we totally live in a desert we also get tons of snow in the winter so that just saved us a whole bunch of money. Brand new bag. Here, Lulu. Those can go in the back. Seriously, brand new bag. This stuff doesn't go bad, guys. It's just salt. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> 
Frugal friends, just a quick interruption to say welcome to Canadian girl Renee, to Shirley Newell, and to Ellen Scudder. Oh my goodness. Welcome to our Patreon family. We are so grateful to have you. Your generous monthly donations put gas into the tank so that we can do this and keep making this happen. You are a huge part of making this possible. And a shout out to Samantha X, our Patreon producer. She is at our highest tier level and will have her name either mentioned or noted in every one of our dumpster diving videos. If you are interested in supporting us through Patreon, starting at even a dollar a month, the Patreon link is in the video description. We are stopping to drop off a bunch of fabric and shoes, donating these. These are things that we don't need for ourselves and that we weren't able to share with family, friends, or neighbors. And so we are going to drop them off here at the donation center. And even if they're not used by other people, they will be recycled. And the money that is earned from recycling will go towards uh, their food charity. Oh, that smells bad. Nothing. Oh, yeah, that just, oh, that smells really bad. Huh. There's another of those huge bean bags. Love sacks, I think they're called. And then a whole bunch of grass clippings. couple of things I might want to grab. Looks like there's some frames, maybe a hanging organizer and a basket and a stool. I don't know if those will be any kind of good condition, worth saving, but I think we'll take a look. Air is pretty bad today. There's a fire raging up by the museums that we like to visit. Oh, that's cute. Not sure yet how it was started. Suspected that it was because of fireworks. Anyway, it sucks. Oh, that's cute. That's in decent enough condition, I think. Yeah, we'll take that. The basket, however, it's pretty rough. I think we'll leave it. heading into fire season. So if you hear me sounding scratchy, that is why. Well, and allergies, of course, too, but fire season, allergies, all that, they go hand in hand. So it's definitely uh, to the point where the schools are pretty much done with their initial cleanouts. They're, they'll be doing more cleanouts throughout the summer. But having done this all these years and years and years, the public schools, that's what I started with was public school dumpsters in the summers um, when Olivia, my oldest, was a baby. So the way it works, the first like three, four weeks, they're pretty heavy cleanouts. And then it like there's like nothing for... I don't know, a couple weeks, maybe even a month sometimes, depends on the year. 
And then they've gotten into like deep cleaning projects or they're changing stuff out or whatever. And then there'll be more loads of stuff. So it's kind of a crapshoot where you just have to check and see and check and see. But what I think we're going to do just to better utilize our time, we will still hit uh, maybe a few. The ones that are generally our best public school dumpsters and the ones that tend to provide the most and then um, start hitting up some of the retail as well just kind of as we wade through the summer and see what all there is we will keep coming back to the public schools because like I said they will be doing more like the school will be getting rid of more stuff and there will continue to be the illegal dumping from residents in the area but I do think yeah just to make the most of our time and to have enough content for you guys, we will do a little bit of some retail diving in there as well. All right, that is what I've got for you today. Thank you so much for coming along. Again, please subscribe, please like, please share, and we will see you all real soon.